sound in terms of wave properties and behavior, how to examine some of the sources of sound, and how to explain properties that differentiate between music and noise. Part 1. Properties and detection of sound. <laughs> sound waves move through air because a vibrating source produces regular variations or oscillations in air pressure. The air particles collide, transmitting the pressure variations away from the source of the sound, much like waves in water. <laughs> against your throat and hum as you speak. <laughs> Can you feel the vibrations? Yeah. This pressure variation that you feel is called a sound wave. A sound wave? Yeah. The speed of sound in air depends on the temperature, with the speed increasing by about 0.6 meters per second for each 1 degree Celsius increase in air temperature. For example, at room temperature, or 20 degrees Celsius, sound moves through air at sea level at a speed of 343 meters per second. And in water, at 25 degrees Celsius, sound moves at 1,493 meters per second. Sound waves share the general properties of other waves. For example, they reflect off hard objects such as the walls of a room. Reflected waves are called echoes. The human ear is a detector that receives pressure waves and converts them to electrical impulses. The ear detects sound waves over a wide range of frequencies and is sensitive to an enormous range of amplitudes. In addition, human hearing can distinguish many different qualities of sound. Two factors that affect how sound is perceived are pitch and loudness. Pitch depends on the frequency of the vibration, while loudness depends primarily on the amplitude of the pressure wave. Because humans can detect a wide range in pressure variations, these amplitudes are measured on a logarithmic scale called the sound level. The unit of measurement for sound level is the decibel. on the planet being able to produce 188 decibels and that dolphins can hear 14 times better than humans? Have you ever noticed that the pitch of an ambulance siren changes as the vehicle speeds past you? The pitch was higher as the vehicle sped towards you but then dropped when the vehicle sped away. This frequency shift is known as the Doppler effect. V is the velocity of the sound wave. V sub D is the velocity of the detector. V sub S is the velocity of the sound source. F sub S is the frequency of the wave emitted by the source. And F sub D is the frequency received by the detector. This equation applies when the source is moving, when the observer is moving, and when both are moving. Part 2. The Physics of Music Sound is produced by a vibrating object. 
The vibrations of the object create particle motions that cause pressure oscillations in the air. A loud speaker has a cone that is made to vibrate by electrical currents. The surface of the cone creates the sound waves that travel to your ear and allow you to hear music. Resonance is a special form of simple harmonic motion that occurs when small forces are applied at regular intervals to an oscillating or vibrating object. Musical instruments use resonance to increase the loudness of particular notes. Open pipe resonators include flutes and saxophones. Clarinets and xylophones are examples of closed pipe resonators. A resonating tube with one end closed to the air is called a closed pipe resonator. An open pipe resonator is a resonating tube with both ends open that also will resonate with the sound source. A seashell acts as a closed pipe resonator to amplify certain frequencies from the background noise. When sounds that have two different pitches are played at the same time, the resulting sound can be either pleasant or jarring. In musical terms, several pitches played together are called a chord. An unpleasant set of pitches is called dissonance. If the combination is pleasant, the sounds are said to be consonants. Two frequencies that are nearly identical interfere to produce high and low sound levels. This oscillation of wave amplitude is called a beat. Sound is also an important factor in everyday uses such as how submarines work. Light does not penetrate very far into the ocean, so submarines must navigate virtually blind. To locate a target, a submarine uses active and passive sonar. Active sonar emits pulses of sound waves that travel through the water, reflect off the target, and return to the ship. By knowing the speed of sound in water and the time for the sound wave to travel to the target and back, the computers can quickly calculate distance between the submarine and the target. Passive sonar involves listening to sounds generated by the target. Sonar systems can also be used to realign inertial navigation systems by identifying known ocean floor features. Whales, dolphins, and bats use the same technique for locating prey. This technique, also known as echolocation or biosonar, is used by many mammals and capable of the ability to see clearly in their habitat. Through echolocation, these mammals can not only see where their prey is going, but also the size and type of the animal it is.